So this is uh, Bowman Lake. As you can see, this is the pole I was talking about earlier. Uh, it's a tree or a piling or something. It's probably further than I thought. It's probably 15 feet, 20 feet out of the water right now. Um, once you got up close, you could kind of tell. But this is Bowman Lake. And it extends out that way quite a ways. Uh, probably four or five times uh, the distance that I have right here in this little bay that I'm in. This bay that I'm in is right next to the campground, which is why I'm here. Over there, it looks like there used to be a boat ramp. But I don't know how you get to that side of the lake. It doesn't look like it's usable right now. So I found this little uh, inlet that goes from the main lake back into a, a little area. And what's cool at, about this area is I found... Let me try and turn around here with one hand. I found an inflatable paddleboard. I don't know if it's somebody's or if it drifted away. Um, but we'll come back and check on it later tonight. And uh, if nobody's picked it up and used it, um, I'll probably tow it back to the other beach. And then uh, if nobody comes and claims it, I'll leave it up to campsite overnight or whatever. But if nobody comes and claims it, then we'll take it home and uh, I'll give it to my buddy Josh because he doesn't have one. Uh, Tom and, and I both have them. Uh, David does not have one either. Uh, so Josh and Tom are supposed to be on their way out. So tonight we'll have some guests at the campsite. Pretty neat little area. There's water flowing in. I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, but last time we were here, I didn't, I didn't even see this inlet. It would be cool to travel back as far as you can get. So I'm in the main part of the lake now, and uh, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, there is a, a camper set up over there. But what's interesting is that right there. That is an old boat dock, or a, a, a boat ramp, I think. And it's obviously not been used for quite some time because those trees have all grown in over the road. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this area, I don't know what it was used for back in the day, but I'm going to assume it was gold mining. Uh, on the way in, I did see several uh, federal uh, mining claims uh, signs. Um, but man, so beautiful out today. It was pretty cloudy yesterday. Uh, I don't know if it was from smoke or fires or whatever, but today it's pretty nice. Uh, there is a little bit of cloud uh, cover, but it's not bad. It's starting to get a little bit windy out here, but I wanted to show you I've moved up uh, to about the middle of the lake, I think. Uh, there's an island right there. It doesn't look like it's much of an island right now. It looks like there is a, uh, a land bridge going over to the other side of the, the lake. Uh, in the far distance out there, you can see um, you can see the dam. This is a reservoir, so it does feed other areas. Uh, water. It's just an amazing lake. Now I understand why my friends like coming here so much. It's uh, it's crazy. Uh, it is a, a, a trek. It's probably almost a four hour drive to the campsite. Um, I did take a wrong turn on my way out here and I had to unhook the trailer and get some help to spin it around. Uh, because there was nowhere for me to turn around. Won't make that mistake again. I've said that a million times. Uh, but it was nice these guys helped me spin it around. Uh, so I'm probably going to head back uh, because Josh and Tom should be getting here within probably the next two hours or so. And uh, probably cook up some lunch and then uh, have dinner tonight. They'll probably want to get on the lake. Um, Josh doesn't have a kayak or a paddleboard, so I'll let him borrow the kayak or the paddleboard, whichever. But, anyways, this is Bowman Lake. Well, there's the paddleboard owner. He uh, 
just showed up. He's heading towards uh, the boat dock. The boat ramp, I should say. So we won't be getting that one, which is fine. Uh, I'd rather he have it and get his way out of there. Um, anyways, I think I'm going to take the kayak in and be done for the day. Unless the guys want to go. Well, Josh and Tom have finally showed up. We're back out on the water, just to try and enjoy the day. Josh is using Honey's uh, paddleboard, and Tom has one of his own. We're gonna try and make it out to the island out there that we saw earlier. Just kind of enjoy the day. Not sure if David's coming or not. Last message I got, he was asking if we were still out here, so. Don't know. We'll update you more when we have some information. Okay, I think earlier I was saying that the island had a land bridge that went all the way across. I'm at the island now. There's no land bridge. Uh, probably 150 feet across to the other side. This is how we roll. And they've got a hammock that they're using to pull us through. I'm hooked to their, uh, their leashes. And, uh, yeah. We work for Elon Musk at Tesla. <laughs> I'm basically like engineering for SpaceX right now. Yeah. We're going pretty fast. This is the future. <laughs> We're all moving up in the world. <laughs> Fucking hammocks. <laughs> Paddle boards and a kayak. Right. This is the kind of shit we do though. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. We actually made it out to what we thought was the island, but. Oh, let me do my job. Okay. 